out of darkness to live in his marvellous light. Brothers and sisters in Christ, welcome to St Cuthbert's Church today for the carol service of the Order of St John Greater London County Priory Group and St John Ambulance Greater London Districts. Welcome to you here and all those who will be seeing us um, through the live streaming. We have come together here and throughout London in the presence of God our Father to rejoice in the gift of Jesus to us as the light of the world. In this carol service we will hear and receive the story and message of the coming of Christ and we offer to God our thanksgiving in prayer and song. We, the carol service speaks of the world in which we live and we pray today for all people that they may be mirrors of the light of Christ in the world for those who do not know the light of Christ in their lives, for those who bear responsibility in our world for government, education, commerce and communication, for the Order of St John and St John Ambulance, for all who serve the Order and the Ambulance Service, all who give their time, their energy and their creativity for all children and for young people who lack the basic necessities of food, shelter and clothing, for those who are in special need, the sick and anxious, the lonely and fearful, and for those who are bereaved, especially in these difficult times of COVID. We commend all whom we love or who have asked for our prayers to the unfailing love of God and say together as Christ has taught us, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen.
O Bethlehem of Ephrata, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel. And he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary, and he came to her and said, Greetings, favoured one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered, What sort of greeting might this be? The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favour with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, 
since I am a virgin. The angel said to her, the Holy Spirit will come upon you and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. The angel, the angel then departed from her. days a decree went out from Emperor Augustus that all the world should be registered. This was the first registration and was taken while Quirinius was governor of Syria. All went to their own towns to be registered. Joseph also went from the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea to the city of David called Bethlehem because he was descended from the house and family of David. He went to be registered with Mary, to whom he was engaged and who was expecting a child. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child, and she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. I heard the shepherd 
In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all of the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace amongst those whom he favours. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger.
and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things were made through him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for testimony to bear witness to the light that all might believe through him. He was not the light, but came to bear witness to the light. The true light that enlightens every man was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made through him, yet the world knew him not. He came to his own home, and his own people received him not. But to all who received him who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and dwelt among us, full of grace and truth. We have beheld his glory, glory as of the only Son from the Father. When the world seems dark, when we might feel uncertain of the future, or even just the challenges of the here and now are seemingly impossible, we all look for hope, for comfort, and perhaps new beginnings. In the run-up to Christmas, we often hear different Old Testament prophecies that talk about Jesus coming that first Christmas. In Isaiah 40, we're reminded that God says, Comfort you, my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem, the people, and proclaim to them that their hard service has been completed. And in Isaiah 9, you might know the phrase, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Our service within the Order of St. John and St. John's Ambulance means that we come into contact with many people who are in crisis. However, we may help others and we too can bring light into their lives especially if their needs mean that the world seems so terribly dark and in doing this we can follow Jesus's example when he himself came as light of the world We may well hear carols and readings in many different forms this year, online or actually together in church services and community events. And in those readings and carols, we are reminded that the message of the first Christmas is good news. God's love for his world came as Jesus amongst us. And there's also good news, wonderful news in fact, for us personally. We can be part of God's blessing for those that we come into contact with. And so as we continue to serve within the Order and St John's Ambulance, we can be the bringers of good news to the world. We can give comfort to those in need. 
and we can be lights in the darkness, not just as we celebrate the birth of Jesus, but all year long. Amen. Prebendary Rosemere Brown sends her apologies that she cannot be at today's service. Father, in this holy season, we celebrate that your Son, our Saviour, was born in human form. Renew your church as the body of Christ. In this holy season, Christians the world over are celebrating his birth. Open our hearts that he may be born in us today. The response to each prayer is, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. On Christmas night, there was no room for your son in the inn. Protect with your love those who have no home and all who live in poverty. Lord, in your mercy. On Christmas night, Mary, in the pain of labor, brought your son to birth. Hold in your hand all who are in pain or distress today. Bless those who care for them, especially for the work of St. John Ambulance. Lord, in your mercy. On Christmas night, your son Jesus Christ came as a light shining in the darkness. Bring comfort to all who suffer in the sadnesses of our world. We give thanks for all agencies who by their work bring light into the dark places of our world, amongst them the Order of St. John. Lord, in your mercy. On Christmas night, shepherds in the field heard good tidings of joy. Give us grace to preach the good news of Christ's redemption. Bless the work of the Dean and Chaplains of St. John. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. On Christmas night, the angels sang peace to God's people on earth. Strengthen those who work for peace and justice in the world. Bless Elizabeth, our queen, her government, and this nation. Bless all the nations of the world and bring peace especially to the Holy Land. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. On Christmas night, strangers found the Holy Family and saw the baby lying in the manger. Bless our homes, Lord, and all whom we love. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. On Christmas night, heaven was come down to earth and earth was raised to heaven. Keep in safety all those who have gone through death in the hope of the resurrection, especially all those who have served St. John. Lord, in your mercy. On Christmas night, angels and shepherds worshipped at the manger throne. Receive the worship we offer in fellowship with Blessed Mary and all the saints through Jesus Christ, our Lord and Saviour. Amen. Amen.
thanks. Thank you very much to all who helped with the organization of this carol service, particularly to the choir and organist. One of the things you have to learn in St. John is to multitask. So I think they rather enjoyed being badgers for today. Um, and to fa Father James for suddenly stepping in and being a, a cadet and uh, one of the chaplains. So thank you. And thank you to my fellow chaplains and to all those who have been with us, both in person and online. I wish you all a very blessed and joyful Christmas and a peaceful and prosperous new year. The Lord be with you. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.